Well, hello there. It's time to reveal the winner of a secret giveaway on my channel. I'll also pull up an extra winner as well. And we'll also be taking a look at things that I collect. So we'll see things like this and things like this and maybe things like this during this video. And first off, I will detail the five main things that I do collect. Garfield, when I look into your eyes, I feel like... Collecting! Yay! Better turn Garfield off before I receive a DMCA. Garfields is something that I collect, and they're a little bit hard to collect now, more so for the fact that Coles didn't have them in stock last Christmas. This is a Christmas animated Garfield. Yeah, but don't despair. I did find one recently. I do look after my Garfields. Uh, this one here, when I was looking for the Dyson vacuum cleaners out in the rubbish piles, look at that, it's got little Garfield booties on, all four paws. Looks stunning, like Garfield should look. I hope it's not a knockoff. <laughs> oh, and he just kissed me. Garfield, do that after the video, not in front of camera. Okay, there's one thing that I collect, and hopefully if you're watching my videos, you'd realise this. I think most people understand I'm a Thomas the Tank collector. Hopefully I've got one of the largest collections in the world. And the person who actually hauls this stuff in for me is actually a collector themselves. So when you a collector connects with a collector, they have the same sort of, you know, feeling about things. They understand what your desires are. And uh, I think that's part of the secret of collecting. If you connect with another collector, I'm always going to assist another collector. Thomas the Tank, that's one for me. Purpling, boilers. It's dark in here. Not so dark when you got your light on, Thomas, but that is a stunning thing. And it's just amazing how much variety there is in that uh, toy realm. Another thing I collect, Lightning McQueen's a bit of a new one for me. Watch this. Um, but very impressive toys. I think uh, what's really been the confusing part for me is that I'm seeing such amazing toys here, let's say versus the Thomas the Tanks. In a sense, these have got detail. These things look just like you see in the films. And really, I don't know whether they're just to focus on Lightning McQueen or to maybe expand to some of the other toys. You know, very, very impressive toys. And I think, I think there'd be many people who would be into this uh, toy car. Toy car collecting is huge. Uh, that's one of the things I would need to see if you're going to win the giveaway. Another one is this franchise here. Thunderbirds. Thunderbird 2, ready for liftoff. Better press that button. Cool, yeah, um, these toys these days, if you're getting these in good condition, um, they're starting to get pricey. Uh, you'll notice there's a lot of activity on eBay with auctions around these toys, uh, particularly if they're you know, all in, you know, quite often, sadly, you'll see they'll be engines broken off and stuff because children have played with them, or they would have had leaking batteries or whatever, um, or they're missing the little figures that came with them. You've got to be, if you want to be into this i think it's worthwhile being picky because it's the nice toys that will continue on to being the worthwhile ones as a collector uh, yeah very very impressive toys uh, there's the new cgi series i've yet to see if it's got toys i've seen some pictures of prototypes i just hope in that new series they don't um put the hood on the island that's in tracy island and, I, and they have the proper relationship of carano and the hood very important in thunderbirds to have that and i just hope that that's still there because it's a very important aspect of that uh, TV series, sort of the depth of it. Another one I collect, and this really did define the winner, it's Star Trek. Now, I have alluded to this uh, briefly in some videos. You would have been, I think the people who would have known this one would have been people who have been long-term viewers and sort of really remembered little aspects of my throwaway lines that I've got, um, particularly the Next Generation toys. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice toys. Uh, I've got uh, a lot of this stuff I've got is uh, mint in box. A lot of the figures that I've got. It was a peculiar show because in Australia it aired late at night and I had a very, very, very bad habit of eating like whole boxes of cheesels or chili chips while watching the show. And then, of course, then I go to bed and that is a recipe for disaster weight wise. That was one of the big reasons why I became so oversized. Oh, it's a great toy. Um, I like the series, I like the actors in it, um, I liked one episode, it was a Worf episode, uh, with Parallels I think it was called. I always like Star Trek when they sort of have that, um, you know, jumping of time stories, so I call them, and different, you know, Parallels of Time. That's why that episode was called Parallels probably. Another one I liked, I think Silic Silicon Avatar was another one, it was a Picard story, and I also like Q in it. Q was one of the backbones of the story, he appeared in a couple of episodes, also anything to do with the Borg. I mean, it just great depth in that TV series. Went on for many, many seasons. Uh, a lot of bags of chili chips and cheeses, I can tell you. 
Uh, but nevertheless, but that's sort of the winning call uh, of, to win the giveaway. And I think some person just did pick this off. A lot of people said, oh, Leo, you connect, collect Kinder Surprise. Well, no, I gave, that, I gave all my collection away a while back now. It was all detailed in the video. M&Ms. No, I gave that away recently to a person who had all this Thomas stuff because I, I connected with an M&M collector and I said, hey, I can help you. I've got a collection of stuff that I've acquired because of the things I look at on YouTube. I've got enough stuff to collect. I mean, I should start to pull some of these down. Um, and I think it's best as a collector. The best thing I can do is to give this to a, a more focused collector. So that's, you know, I've got a lot of Angry Birds stuff, but it's not, once again, it's stuff that I've just acquired because of the things I look at YouTube. If I come across an Angry Birds, a really focused Angry Birds fan, man, I've got some fantastic things for you. I've got some fantastic things for you. Um, and people said, oh, you collect knockoff stuff, all of the bulk of the stuff, of the knockoff stuff gets destroyed. You know, I, I wouldn't, uh, it's, it, the only ones that I keep is the, um, the Thomas the Tank knockoff stuff. And it's, it's in a sense more peculiar and, and, you know, a lot more interest in that than the real Thomas toys. Uh, it's a little, it grows at a much slower rate as well. It's a little bit harder to, to find the real Thomas toys just seem to come down like a giant rainstorm at, at, at times. The one that's spooking me um, is is the Wiggles things because I've got a video up where I went to see a Wiggles exhibition at the Powerhouse Museum in Sydney. Because I can see the data on the YouTube video, there's a lot of interest in me looking at that exhibition. And I think to give you a very quick example of how I see Wiggles toys, that's a dollar for this bag, the two plushes here from the local charity shop where I get my Thomas things. Dorothy the Dinosaur and Captain Feathersword, I love the guy who's Captain Feathersword, for a dollar, uh, I think you'll find in time you won't be getting this stuff for a dollar. That's just my gut feeling as a collector. Another thing I picked up, and I'm going to do a bit of a video about some Wiggles things that I picked up. I'm not collecting this. I'm just sort of looking at it, and I'll return it back to the cherry shop. It's this Dorothy the Dinosaur, $1.50 for that. Bit of an older toy. It's in good condition. Um, it's great eye candy. If you had a room set up with this stuff, it would look fantastic. And I think that's uh, one thing about collections is, you know, I'm not a person who displays in my home. It tends to live in boxes under the house, um, but I'd love to have a display room. Imagine a display room of all my Thomas stuff. But then again, I'm thinking maybe a better place to have it would be maybe at a children's hospital in a dis big display case on a wall. That would probably be the, the more empowering thing to do with that collection because really just living in boxes under the house does nothing, you know. I think in the end, um, you know, that, that's where those collections will go. I, I can't. I don't think I want to be hoarding it forever. Uh, I think I just, you know, I'm a natural collector. I don't know whether that's sad or whether it's just something that, um, you know, it's just the way I am. Another thing I've got is, um, like, I've got a pretty good guitar pick collection of all things because I used to work uh, do, helping the pyro guy at rock shows. And most of the rock shows that had pyro were, like, you know, heavy metal artists or things. Or one artist in there, not really heavy metal, but, man, he's a fantastic guitarist. And I've got a guitar pick in there, and I'll show you that in this video. He's a great artist, a great musician would be the best way of saying it. But um, anyway, I'll show you the winner of this giveaway. I'll show you the way I collect Hot Wheels cars. Let's do it. And here's the winning comment here from the YouTuber Pick Rick. I hope I'm saying the channel name correctly there. Some of the many things to collect are Thomas the Tank Engine, of course. I like the way you said it like that. Disney Cars 2 Diecast, Toy Cars. It'll be more than just a Diecast. I'll let you throw on that one. Thunderbirds, yes, and Star Trek, the next generation. Very important to say that, the next generation there. And it goes on to say, and soon the, ma the magazine model series, yes. Animated Christmas Garfield, yes, it's a tick for that one as well. Now, the funny thing to this giveaway was four of those items are actually listed on the About tab here on my channel. Let's take a read. Just reading in the middle of the screen, I am a keen toy collector and own a... Massive Star Trek, Disney Cars, Thunderbirds, and Thomas the Tank Engine Collection. So basically, four of the five things I wanted to read were actually detailed on my About tab on my YouTube channel. So in the end, it was a pretty easy giveaway. It was very interesting to read some of the lists people had. It was a bit sad, actually, because it made me realize that I'm obviously collecting far too much stuff. But I don't think many people had pulled off a list that was basically seen on the about tab uh, maybe a few people did but you needed to detail the next generation as there is the winning entry there um, but hey let's find someone else who has come pretty close okay let me find another winner okay just scrolling scrolling there's someone who's been very loyal on my channel oh i think that's the person there 
Ood Sigma. Hope you sound like that. Your list was Thomas the Tank Engine, Kiss, Thunderbirds, Lightning McQueen, Christmas Garfields. That's a pretty good list as well. And it's a good list. It's interesting. It is an edited comment. And I realized it was a bit of a fail giveaway because anyone could come in and just basically edit out things and add things in. Uh, but I did have a very careful look when the giveaway was closed. And I like that list of uh, items as well. So there's an extra winner. Hood Sigma. I hope I'm saying your channel name right. Obviously you're into Doctor Who. I will slip you out something as a surprise. And it'll be good, I guarantee. Thanks for being a very loyal viewer. Oh, let's move on. In Target, Australia. Around this time of year, often there is a toy sale. This one runs between the 1st of April to the 19th of April. School holiday fund, 20% off all toys. Oh, yeah. And you can go in there. You can look at this cattle dog online. I like looking at the physical ones like this because I just like to turn pages, I think. But I think the one that's a standout here, and they do it occasionally at Target, is this one here. Five Hot Wheels vehicles for $5, so it's basically a dollar a car. But be careful, you need to buy five. If you buy them individually, they are still $2.50 each. And I know people in America will be saying, well, Leo, they're always a dollar for us, or a little bit more than that, but not in Australia. Anyway, this is the way that I collect them. Let me show you. Okay, if I was going to be a Hot Wheels car collector, the way I would collect these would be, I'd be going for the ones that have the Hot Wheels logo on the car. I don't know, that's something that sort of stands out to me. I've just plucked out actually quite a number from my son's toy collection. Of these cars that's the ones that he plays with uh, I tend to I tend to only buy these cars when they're on special I'm not too keen on paying the full price in Australia for these and uh, that's because I know people in the USA who get them for well, far far cheaper than what but I have to suffer but hey welcome to Australia and the best thing about this here is that there are so many different varieties of vehicles if I was going to click like this because I'm looking for that emblem there uh, it just seems to be across so many different styles of vehicles. I've actually spoken to some collectors in stores. Uh, they've been interesting. Some haven't wanted to chat to me because I think they think I'm going to steal their empire. Uh, the ones that did have a chat to me were very, very nice people. And they were actually, the first thing they were looking for was uh, cars that were faulty in packaging because they know they're the collectible ones. Um, but the one thing I've noticed, uh, with all the shops I go to, quite a few shops, is I've never found... Um, the treasure hunts or the super treasure hunts they seem to be well i think the collectors get them before they go to the pegs maybe the best way of saying it hey eh? hot wheels there that's what i'm looking for i mean it's just so many different varieties of this it's not funny it's on the back there uh there's even uh, mcdonald's happy meal one there it is the mcd underneath a bit larger tall. i thought that was going to be like the um the way these cars were going to just become all plastic Okay, Hot Wheels across the back there. Remember, these are just my son's cars. It can be a little bit abstract at times. This is a classic example. It's been squashed there on the back there, the back of the car. Um, I mean, it's on all sorts of different cars. That's the part that I really like. That's one of my favorites there. I've also got the one that was the gamer one of that version. I've forgotten the game now. The Caterpillar, I think. I don't know. I'll get it wrong. Whenever I've got the camera on, I'm trying to talk. I'm always getting it wrong. But hey, look at the different styles. And it's also the different scales of these cars. You can get the there's one of the Monster Jam trucks, Hot Wheels. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And I think I probably better stop here because I think you've got the idea of what I'm trying to show. The fact that I'm focusing on this here, Hot Wheels. Let's push the Hot Wheels vehicles to the side. Better put them back to my son's toy box. And we'll take a look at some guitar picks next. Hey, maybe Pixie Licks will get excited. Well, okay, I better be a bit careful here because some of these are a bit racy and we can't have racy stuff on YouTube because YouTube's all about being G-rated. Let me pick out some that I can show. Okay, the ones I can show, I've moved away the ones I can't, which are racy. This is uh, Cheap Trick Rick ne Neeson, wasn't his name? I don't know his name's there, I can't even read. Uh, Good American Pickers episode related to his guitar collection. Bon Jovi, uh, a lot of my stuff's from the hairband era because that's when I was doing pyro with, with this sort of stuff. Yeah. Guns N' Roses. Looking a bit tatty. Some of the artwork on this stuff didn't stay on, did it? ACDC, man, this is a fantastic band to see. Um, well, I see it side stage or backstage in a sense. I think sometimes that's not the nice way to see a band. It's nice to sometimes just be out in the audience and appreciate it from the front. Uh, and seeing multiple shows, it tends to pull apart the magic and mystery of it. Warrant. 
Uh, sadly, a lot of the warrant stuff I can't show. Uh, a lot of very, very racy um, guitar picks related to warrant poison. Another hairband era. Gee whiz. Going back in time, aren't we, hey? Kiss. Yeah. They've got excellent guitar picks, actually. I suppose it's, um, you know, very much how the band is. Uh, once again, it's a warrant one. That's a piece of uh, cherry pie. Rips is in the back there. Uh, I think this is Motley Crue. I think. Yeah, I can't show that one. Okay, sorry. Um, another Motley Crue can I show? That? Oh, okay, yeah, that's okay to show. And last, but by no means least, this one here. This is the one I like the most. Do you know the artist on that one? I can't remember whether I flashed this up on YouTube before. There's nothing on the other side. Uh, amazing musician, amazing guitarist. Um, often... People don't really know his name because for a while he was just known as Symbol. It belongs to Prince. Or the artist uh, who used to be called Prince. Love God is what it says. Uh, amazing person. Uh, amazing artist. Amazing musician. So really, like a collection like that was opportunistic of the style of work that I did. Uh, I'm pretty good at seeing an opportunity to collect. I think maybe, hopefully, that's the hallmark of, of being a collector. Um, maybe you've got something to say on that one. Uh, let's move on to, I'll show you a bit more of my Star Trek The Next Generation collection. Well, this collection resides in tubs like this under the home. Um, it's all hopefully mint in box in there. The starships I've got aren't in box, but the figures are. Oh, Star Trek The Next Generation, Space the Final Frontier. Here is Commander William T. Riker. Now, the one to get is him without a beard from Season 1. I've got a funny feeling that is the most sought after. I might be wrong there. A bit of a synopsis about him. That's what was in the series of this. And I mean, this is a fairly expansive series of critters. There is Lacutus. It's Captain John Luke Picard as a Borg. That was probably the, um, you know, the really good episodes. Ones like that on the back. It looks like this. And when people collect this stuff, it ends up being all about the condition of the card. Um, seems to be the thing that people will pick off. Ambassador Spock. Just a shame, Leonard Nimoy only had recently um, passed away. Fantastic uh, person. There's some people here that I've actually to totally forgotten about. Wasn't she the, came back as a, wasn't she the security guard in the um, first episode? And she, Skin of Evil, didn't she die, that character there? Or the same actress, am I correct there? There's one there, Lieutenant Commander Dart as a Romulan. All sorts of mashups <laughs> going on there. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff here uh, that I've sort of um, basically sort of forgotten about. Because, I mean, I need those brain cells to help me collect Thomas. Would be the best way of saying it. Captain John Luke Picard there. Um, yeah. I just remember this stuff in the stores here in Australia. It sold um, fairly hard. That was a critter, wasn't it? That one, Lieutenant Barclay. Remember him? <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's a bit hard to show stuff when it's mint in box. It's a bit boring just showing things like this. I don't know what I'm picking up here. Just genuine, just a Romulan, okay? So it's got the guns and phasers, the Romulan phaser there. A little stands, hey? Who else can I pick up? Anyone half interesting? <laughs> okay, here we are, Borg. I wonder, I wonder if I got Hugh. Remember that episode? They gave, they gave the Borg a name to try and you know, shake some sensibility back into him. Oh, the Ferengi. Oh, yeah. I suppose almost like the comedy act in this. Later on, and they, later, they integrated the Ferengi as crew. Deep Space Nine and whatever else. Like, oh, this is dragging my brain cells seeing this guy. <laughs> I remember, I think there's vapor coming out of his thing on, on the thing. Am I correct there? Klingon Warrior Wharf. <laughs> Just goes on and on and on. It's like any excuse to make another character, isn't it? wonder if the toy franchise is really driving this as well, hey? Oh, I remember her? Kila, was it Kila or something? Kila? Ambassador, Klingon Ambassador? I only know that because I'm reading the, um, <laughs> the box there. I really don't know much at all. It's just dragging me. Here's a character, look, here's one that took me a while to, um, understand. As I got a bit older and mature, I um, understood Deanna Troy a little bit more and enjoyed her episodes. I think the ones where her mum appeared annoyed living daylights out of me. Um, uh, here's one of my favourite ones, and that is um, Data. 
just fantastic. Um, the fact that he had that twin brother as well in the storyline, I loved all that. Uh, let me show you something else out of the box. So it's sort of a bit sad. Um, I've got all the Star Trek stuff. Uh, I, for a while there, I was never going to own up to it and admit to this. Um, yeah, Chronic Collector, eh? And i totally forgotten, look at this, Micro Machines. Okay, the Star Trek Limited Edition Collector Set. I've got a mint in box version of that. There's one that I opened up and I showed those on the back of my review table trying to get the glare off the box there for you so you can have a nice hard look at that. I can see a Borg ship in there. I can see all sorts of good stuff actually. Bringing back all sorts of memories. Micro Machines, they were fantastic toys. If only they could bring them back. The great detailed toys. So got a limited edition USS Enterprise up there. Although the word limited edition tends to be one of the most overused words in the toy thing. There is this set here as well. Bringing back memories, guys. That's Star Trek Generations. That's a, the film, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, there's the back there. And then the other thing that I've got here, and once again I had totally forgotten, uh, Star Trek Generations, and it's the cards. It's like collector's cards. I'll be honest here, I've just totally forgotten how I've come across these. Probably, yeah, look, they're just, um, they're beautiful, really. Uh, I don't know, I've never really looked up, um, yeah, it's the story, isn't it, the guy who was trying to warp time? Um, and, uh, what was his name? Yeah. I've actually sort of semi-forgotten the story here. It was a great movie, one of the great crossover ones. I'm trying to get a picture of the evil dude in this one. It wasn't that, it's data there. Oh, that's that explosion on that rock. Yeah, the, remember he's trying to launch a missile. Is that, there's part of the fight scene. Wow, let's bring back memories here. We'll get this, this is the evil dude. That's him there in that movie. Great movie. Uh, it was a great uh, crossover film. Uh, and I've also got more here of the next generation cards like i really have forgotten how i've come across these um noticing these are in a different format because this or the next generation wasn't shot in widescreen or that nice film format yeah the quality in these isn't that good actually when i look at these as in the uh resolution quality on the of the prints yeah that's the one that's that early because there's Tasha Yar there. Um, great. The Royale, I enjoyed that one from the first episode. Yeah, I mean, you could go, there's so many to look at there, we're not going to go there. And for some reason, Deep Space Nine, I don't know why, because uh, maybe Odo was about the only guy I quite liked in this. And I think they started to inject crossover players from, you know, uh, from the next generation to try and bolster it up. Although it did go on for quite a bit. Why have I got there's ships there? You know, I don't know. Oh, she was nice, wasn't she? I've totally forgotten her name. Okay, and the captain was a good, strong captain in this. I don't know, it just didn't seem to... I think the fact it was trapped on a spaceship was the part that... Um, uh, Quark, he was good. Yeah, he was funny. Uh, and, and the interaction between Odo and Quark, they were always at each other. Bring back some good memories. Yeah. I think the fact it was caught on a, a space station uh, nagged me. And the fact that on this set here, there's that Deep Space Nine thing there. Yeah, I think that was the part that I didn't like about um, Deep Space Nine. Maybe you got something to say. You know, I loved Next Generation. And I mean, the film, some of the films were fantastic. Some of them weren't that fantastic. Nice set of cards. Nice set of cards indeed. Now I'll just pull one more up. And it's a very important figure for the Next Generation. And that is Q. Uh, cross over there with My Little Pony as well. Go and do some Googling on that one. Okay, and you'll work it out. Uh, his little toys there, of course, is the Enterprise, because he's always toying with uh, Picard's brain in particular, and whoever else. And I forgot what the rock was. these crystals were for. I don't know, maybe you guys know more about that than me, but man, I can't keep every brain cell in my head devoted to remembering stuff about that show. Oh, just look what popped out of the woodwork. That's a Borg cube. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably thinking, oh, but this guy's a sicko. <laughs> I like the Borg cube. 
Uh, it's either one of the greatest Starship designs ever or the worst. You can decide on that one. Ah, Romulans are about great design on that ship there. Very, very impressive. And let's not forget the Klingon Empire. Ooh, these were fantastic toys, I can assure you. Very, very nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, sadly, this is what happens when you're a collector and you don't know when to stop, you know, don't get focused on all the things that I told you not to do and do do. It can be anything from Christmas Garfields to Star Trek Next Generation, and there's Law there. That's the evil twin of Data. Oh, yeah. I better leave this video. It's probably gone on for far too long. Let Garfield have the final say here. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.